I'm in a real bind. This Ellery's in a bad way. You gotta help me. Howdy viewers, Brad Proprietor, Barstool Entertainment, thanking you for returning and potentially subscribing. I'm doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video called People and Locations. Yeah, you meet some interesting people in Red Dead Redemption 2. Some of them, well, they're deserving of help, and others, well, they're not really deserving of help. But sometimes you help the wrong people. And I'm going to be showing you a few lockbox locations that I stumbled upon while out in the woods hunting. What's interesting is this young lady shows up just after I dropped off Edmund Lowry Jr., you know, the serial killer guy I did a video about. And, well, it turns out she is a serial killer herself, but she happens to be a entertainment worker. Mister, Dad, you! I'm in a real bind. This Ellery's in a bad way. You gotta help me. I'll pay you. Okay, okay, calm down. Where is he? He's inside. Upstairs. Come with me. I'll show you. It was me or him, I swear. I gotta clean this room. This? Can you get rid of him, please? I'll give you all the money I got. Bastard started beating on me, choking me. He was a demon in human shape. You gotta help me, please. I must really be losing my mind this time. You know, there's a pig pen not too far. Just dump the body in there and they'll eat him up in no time. As it turns out, I probably should have asked more questions. This woman is a serial killer, and she kills her johns. If I bring her to the police station, I get $12 and plus one on her. Since I helped her out, I get negative one on her and $14. It's kind of a trade-off. And you never see her again after this encounter. If you brought her to the police station, you could come back in a few days and, uh, well, watch her be hanged or try and save her. Again, I probably should have asked more questions. If you return to this room after the game, or later on in the game, it'll be all cleared up and everything is good. Yeah, I probably should have asked more questions. And I probably, I thought about, I could have hogtied her and brought her to the police after the fact. I don't know. But I digress. If you ever meet this woman, yeah, don't help her out. Now, the next guy is outside of Valentine, who I helped out, and he's building a house. So, he is actually a good investment. So, let's get on with it. Oh, hey there. How's it going? Well, it ain't going at all. We're broke. 
We're about ready to call it quits, to be honest with you. Listen, I... I, I, I hate to ask, but do you think you could lend us the money that we're going to need to finish? I, I, I will pay you back, I swear on my life. All right, here you go. But you best not be playing me for a fool. Oh, I ain't, mister. I swear. I'd say give it a few days, if not a week or two, when you return to this guy. Good for you. So can I have my money now? Of course, not a problem. We managed to drum some together. Here you are, as promised, and with interest. You lent the guy a hundred bucks, you wait a little bit, you come back, he gives you a hundred fifty. That's a pretty good return on investment. I mean, that's like 50% interest, unless he was compounding, but I digress. This guy is just outside of Valentine Castor's Ridge, right here, this house. If you get there and he's still building it, you can lend him the hundred bucks. Like I said, you get a hundred and fifty in return. Now, the next part of the video are some lock boxes I stumbled upon while hunting, and they have a lot of money in them. a gold nugget, and a small bag of jewelry. Now, I looked around this chimney a little more, and like I said, I was come upon it while hunting, and I was wondering, it's right here, just below Elysian Pool, and outside Butcher Creek, and there's an X on the map, so I'm going to go investigate the corpse and see what happens. But hey, that's pretty good money. A small bag of jewelry and gold nugget, that's a couple hundred dollars. Girl. No business being here. You better turn heel right now, you hear me? I'll 
put a hole in your head. All right, then. Calm down. Yeah, you're funny, like a hole in the head. Hey, let me see that ugly mug. Ah, oh, you're done! Ah. Obviously, the other guy looted the corpse, and we had a bit of a dispute, and I'm going to go loot him, because, well, fair is fair, right? I mean, he took money from the other guy, and I'm taking it all back. Not even two bucks but an unopened health cure, which is good. The next lockbox lock I stumbled upon, again, Arthur was just hunting. And you stumble upon these things, or there are some locations if you have the guide that you can find. So let's get on with the next lockbox. Morgan was out hunting deer, and I turned and saw this in a hollow of a tree. And, well, it's on the map here at Matak, Madoc Pond, right by the sea. And, yeah, this lockbox contains some decent loot. $20 in canned vegetables. Yeah, $20 doesn't seem like much these days, but back in the 18, late 1800s, early 1900s, that was a lot of money. And this is the final location. And wrapping up my people and locations video, if you like this type of video, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave some comments if you like this type of video. Hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, plus some shorts, and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.